Good day, everyone. And for today's topic, we're gonna have we'll have a new topic for today. So I want you to get or prepare a whole size of paper and answer the questions, which could be found in this entire video. Write your name on top of the paper with your grade and section. Ready? Here we go. Write or say something about this video clip number one. You may pause this video in order to answer or to write your answer on that paper. Write or say something about the video clip number two. Okay, you're done. Okay, can you go over with your answers? Perhaps you answer with the word work. For the second clip, you may answer the word badminton. Now, the question is, is the video clip number one and two different? Yes or no? You may answer that in your paper. Or they have these simil similarities. If yes, in what way? You can pause this video to reflect and to write your answer. All right, thank you for that. Yes, might be some of you able to come up with the questions or with the answer, leisure and recreation. So the, today, our topic is about leisure and recreation. Now, how can we say is there any difference between these two words? Our objective for this topic is you are going to compare the and contrast leisure from recreation, identify the benefits of leisure and recreation, and plan an indoor recreational activity for the family. Now, since the first video clip that you've shown to you, some kind of work? Is it different from the other one? Yes, you the one who's performing a badminton. Technically, there is much a different. So what is the difference between leisure from recreation? Try to see this video clips. What have you noticed? What are they doing? Perhaps you can say the other one is topmost. They are studying. Then the other one is working. Other one into business. And the other one here, the top low, lowest button is doing some household chores. Do they have time? Or what they are doing? They are all doing these activities or their work, but they don't have free time for leisure. So when we talk about these are all obligations. These are those pictures that you've seen are all obligations, are all the things that you need to work with. You need to work in order to have money to feed your family. You need to do the household chores because you need to make your home clean. You need to study in order for you to get a good grade or to have a good grades. You need to have a business in order to uplift the needs of your life and to uplift your status in life. So when we talk about leisure, it's some kind of different. 
it's the other way around. When we say leisure or free time, is a period of a person spends away from the demands of work, duty, studies, business, and daily chores. So you are simply relaxing. It is a time when, you, when one can rest and enjoy his hobbies or recreational activities. So you can see in the picture of a video above, in this clip, the man is just relaxing, sleeping, or nakatog ni siya because of my exhausted. So it's a time when you give time yourself to rest. These are the different activities. You have the badminton, others are into crafting, others into hiking. Some have you have into basketball and even have time in the family watching movies together. So these are some. So when we talk about recreation, it is an activity of leisure. So we talk about leisure, it's a free time. So what will you do in the free time is what we call recreation. It, it's, it is about pastimes, interests, and experiences done to refresh of one's mind or body after work. Recreation, they produce the feelings of well-being, fulfillment, pleasure, enjoyment, relaxation, learning, socialization, and satisfaction. So these are the things that you will feel upon doing this recreation. The sense of well-being. You are being accepted, accepted by anyone else, who you are and what you are. Sense of fulfillment after doing such tricks or a skill. If you're able to do it right, viola. You are happy. You are able. You are contented with it. Once you do the relaxation, like just simply listening to music, you will be able to feel. Pleasure, you enjoy that moment, you feel relaxed. Just a simple zip of coffee while listening to a music. It could be also a way of learning some new skills. When you are doing some recreation, a sense of socialization, feeling of belongingness. And of course, you will feel satisfaction. Recreation serves opportunity to express creativity, achieve and master new things, and feel good about oneself. If you are a painter, your painting would tell or would tell your creativity. If you want to learn something a new skill, learning it. Mastering it, you're able to achieve a new thing. And of course, being or performing a recreation, you feel a good, good about yourself. There are two activities or maybe done in two types of settings. Recreation could be done indoor and outdoor. What can you say about the activities done outdoor? You can write it in your paper. You can check it out whether you have somewhat 
Similar answer, outdoor recreation is a leisure pursuit engaged outside the confines of buildings. So it must be outside. There are what we call values of recreation. For relaxation, reduce stress, health impact, social benefits, effective time utilization, and sharpen skills. Doing some recreational activities releases tension from the whole day work and, revital and revitalize your senses resulting in relaxation. It reduces stress, revitalizing your senses from loads of work in school, at home, or even work can be achieved through active participation in recreational activities. A simple massage in a spa, spending time with it, giving time for yourself could really reduce the stress. Next is health impact. Since recreation removes stress, it is definitely vital activity that can contribute to the health and wellness of an individual. It also has what we call social benefits. Merging with other people with common interests is a value that enables the individual to be more sociable and have a satisfying relationship with others. Effective time utilization. Since you are performing recreational activities, is the best thing that you can do using your leisure time. Remember, leisure time is your free time. It benefits not only your mind and body, but also manage your time in an efficient and productive manner. It also sharpens your skills. Since recreation oftentimes are hobbies performed, in a form of sports and arts, utilizing the skills in that certain field will surely sharpen it for over a period of time. How is recreation classified? There are many of the recreational activities that you can choose from. One of which is arts and crafts. And these are the examples, sculpture, painting, drawing, dancing, and singing. The second one is fitness and sports. You can do basketball, badminton, football, jogging, swimming, gymnastics, zumba, cycling, yoga, and aerobics. You can also do outdoor activities. Remember, it confines outside the building. Camping, hiking, mountaineering, orienteering. You can also do a technology-based. Internet surfing, playing instruments, watching movies or series. And you can also do some indoor activities such as chess, scrabble, domino, word factory, word search, sudoku. Although there are some fitness sports that you can do indoor, it could be a basketball, it could be a badminton. You can also have the swimming. If there is an indoor swimming activity area or indoor swimming, swimming pool which is available in your area or in your, or in your home. You can also do yoga since it could be also done indoor. You could also do that outdoors. It depends upon where are you going to do these activities. So these are the different activities that you can do um, either indoor or outdoor.
However, it was just being classified whether if it is in arts, in fitness, or technology-based. Now you know the different classifications or different types or examples of recreational activities. Now you need to plan a recreational activity for your family. Write your plan in a band paper, be creative, and then find time doing it with your family. After doing the activity, answer the given questions. You have at least a one a week, you have a one week to do that. After doing those activity, I need you to answer these questions. Did you enjoy the activity? What did you feel after doing the after doing it? Did the activity help you feel relaxed? Would you encourage your family to do the same activity? What recreational activities do you and your family want to do during leisure time? I hope you're able to learn something for today's topic and able to do your plan and activity for your family that you will enjoy much. And of course, remember, do that recreational activity during your leisure time or free time. And remember this, I would like to end this topic with a note of we do better together, not alone. We need to play together to feel alive. We need to share together to feel whole. At any age, we need to feel, recreate, breathe. By Patricia Milko. This is our topic class and I hope you learned something today and hope to hope you will answer those questions given. You can replay it, pause and replay it and submit your answer. Take a photo, submit your answer in our Google Classroom. Thank you and see you then.